Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today's video is all about They don't know because I didn't tell them. It's all about relaxing and uh, catching up on chores because we've been running all week. Um, cleaning the trailer, doing the laundry, having a shower. When you're at the trailer, it takes forever to have a shower. Like, it just, it's a nightmare. And um, I woke up today. I edited uh, two videos. They're going to be up soon. And she's like, I'm not doing any work. Like, what are you talking about? Work is for the thumbs down. And the thumbs up. And I said, all right, you guys, let's go hit the showers. And then we're like, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go swimming. We're gonna go swimming. I said, get your bathing suits on. Because it's just crazy to wash your hair and then jump in the pool. And this doesn't make sense. But anyway, today, before we get started, I wanna challenge you guys to find one thing about yourself that you love. Whether it's your eyes or your nose or your body or your posture or anything. Because the most important person in this world that you should love is yourself. You have to love yourself first before you can love anybody else. And I challenge you to find that one thing that you love and for the whole entire day keep it in the back of your mind how amazing that one thing is about you because I promise you all are amazing, you all are beautiful, and you all are deserving of your own love. Is it cold? Yeah. We are home from the pool. I had a fun swim. Did you have a fun swim? Yeah, we were alone in the pool, which was amazing. We anyway, played horses for half an hour. They played horses for a half an hour. Now we're gonna play. Sh we're gonna watch a movie, eat lunch, and then um, first light for another half life. an hour. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the whole point of the summer was to like work, play, and eat. And basically, we've been doing so much work. We haven't been doing a lot of playing. So and watch movies. I have a bunch of videos to edit. That's my goal for the next hour. What time is it? Um, I have videos that I need to put up, so I'm gonna be oh, in here ooh, working. Ooh. Do you guys want to know what me and Gabby do for play? What do you and Gabby do for I play? I mean, for work. For work. What do you do? Watch movies. <laughs> I wish that would be a good, fun work. So you know what? The so Gabby, wait, 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 wait. I, I know you're enjoying your summer, just doing whatever you want. But what are you wearing today? Chihuahua shirt. This is my unlucky shirt. It's your unlucky shirt, but it's also your. Like I scraped my knee when I was wearing this shirt. Is it also your pajama shirt? It's a shirt and it's a pants that I wear to bed. Yeah. So it's not a pajama. <laughs> it's an actual shirt that you're supposed to wear like for the day, not the night. And, and pants that you're supposed to wear for the day and not the night. But we bought them for pajamas? No. Oh. We bought so them for basically she avoided that question pretty good. Um, basically she's wearing her pajamas for daytime but they're really clothes, so she doesn't consider them pajamas, even though she wore them to bed. It's all about being comfortable, though. Oh my God, they're so comfy, though. These pants say that they're extra soft. Yeah, they're extra soft. Oh, anyway. And I'm sporting um, flip-flops that match. Hey! Oh, yeah, so you're cute today, even though <laughs> you're wearing your pajamas. Here you go. You're two cheese sticks <laughs> my cheese She's like, can we have cheese and crackers for lunch? I'm like, yeah. So she's like, here's your cheese. <laughs> Here's your cheese. And here's our other cheese. Yeah, that's Healthy the cheese we're gonna have. Cheese. Yeah. And a crackers. Two dogs at a time. The only thing that gets you out of the pool is when you're so hungry, you have to get out of the pool. We went to the pool at 12 and now it's two. Standing underneath the lights. 
into each other's eyes. Straight ahead, you're walking, so you should be able to keep her in a very straight tunnel. A little squeezy heels with the poles. Squeeze. 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 Good. Straight line. Don't let her turn too soon. This is the basis for teaching her. We have to go slow to burn off that weight. So we're going to teach her all the good stuff now while we're going slow. So this is actually her first real lesson. Yep. All right, ask her to stop. Lift your hands up, elbows back. Excellent. Give her a pat and ask her to walk on. Come in. You're really good at making a door. Not a spectacular window. deep into the corner and then we're going to go over the chocolate brown poles so line yourself up so you go over them straight time is running out of sight see the chocolate ones yeah now turn and make a nice straight line right across the other wall she's going to try and turn and come early but you need to make her go straight to the wall squeeze squeeze but straight to the wall. Isn't it crazy we asked her to go slow and now she like seriously took it seriously? She's like slow, okay, I'll Holding give you slow. Holding your legs in the same spot. And halt. Hands up. Good. If she's lifting your hands, it's going to elevate the shoulder to sit her down. Girl. Walk on. And as hard as it is, get those legs back again. Left one especially. The right one looks good. Put that left leg back. See the uh, straps from your stirrup leathers? See how your right leg is on it? You need to make your left leg get on it. All right, kiddo, let's go ahead and do a little trotting. Shorten your reins a little bit. A little squeeze and rising. Other's eyes. That's it. There's no one left but you and me. Remember when you rise and sit, you want to land super softly. We can see. Lean a little bit forward. Sit and lift your hands. Good job. Are you saying you want to be done? Good. It's funny how when you get a new horse, there's always a setback, and it's just different depending on the horse and the rider. Yep. So Sophie was starting to jump, and now she's like gone back, but this going back is kind of like a skill building thing anyway, like. Right leg, keep her over there. Sit for two. That's okay, keep going. We're gonna try that one more time and then we're gonna walk. Shorten your left rein down into the next color. The color comes next. Get into it, right in the middle of it. Pull her over. Right leg, push her over. Trot on. Now whatever you do, do not let her nose leave the rail. Keep her nose on that wall. Keep her nose on the wall. Pull. Yeah. Remember to pull straight back with your elbow. Elbow. That's better. Good girl. Oh. Straight back with your elbow. You got this. So she's Thumbs on top. And walk. Two hands up and elbows. Good girl. As soon as she pulls you off the rail, you need to lift your hand up and pull straight back. Okay? So left rein, keep her straight. Lift your hand up and pull straight back. Other hand. And thumb on top. Yes. Do you want to think up and 
right there. Not down by your knees. Hands up. Look straight ahead at the windows. Now, now pull her up, pull her over. Watch your hands. Do you want to keep your thumb on top? Yep, we're going to do that again. Back on that left ring. Yes, thumb on top. You got it. Now the goal is to try and stop her before she gets there. So look at the window. She's going to try again. She's going to go over those poles and she's going to cut to the center. Pull back on that left one. Good job. Over the chocolate one, please. We're changing direction. this direction. We're going to go down over the white poles this way. Thumbs on top. That's probably why they don't get along. Want to know something cool, Gabby? Oh, thank Lord. Thank the Lord. And walk. Good girl. Window. show you we got some mail so they're gonna do a quick car truck 
a fan mail unboxing. Sylvie got a card. A big diamond. Oh my gosh, look at that card. Let's Hold see, it let up. Me see, let me see. Um, Hold it up. Sam. Hold it up. To Sam, oh, don't ever say me. that part. It's for me. Ooh. To oh. Sam. Oh. Here, let me see. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so this is from Grant Hughes and his mom, Jules. Do you guys remember? I have a feeling that they recently sent us fan mail from Florida. Do you guys remember? And they said they were going to the Hamptons, and this is something that they found for us in the Hamptons. Okay, so, horseshoes. Horseshoes. Yeah. They are adorable. Let wow. me see. Wait, wait. My horse is horseshoes. Let me oh. see. So uh, these are tiny little horseshoes. Aren't they cute? You could, we could definitely hang these up on our locker at the barn. Um, they also sent this. Um, it goes on your cell phone, and I think you can put your bank card on in it. That's uh, super cool. There's a little box. Ooh, earrings. These are so pretty. Let me see. These are from the Hamptons, you guys. Like, oh, I want to go to the Hamptons so bad. So these are still from Grant and his mom. They sent pictures of themselves last time. Oh there are these adorable God. little earrings. Aren't they so cute? And bracelets. Super pretty. Pink and purple. That's like Stella and Sabrina combined. They sent oh, I love that. So bright and vibrant. Let's try. And yeah, the most wait, wait, important it's thing it's ever. Taichu. Let me see. It's Taichu? Taichu? Oh my gosh, we wanted to try these. Nick wanted to try these. Or did Nick buy these before? Because I heard a lot about these. So cool. Thank you. Mom, thanks, Grant and Jewel. So uh, this um, letter is from Kaylee. She's 10 years old and she's about to turn 11 in September. Um, and she's a big horse lover and Best month ever. Yeah, Sam's birthday's in September Best too. Month, and Macy's. Um, anyway, she says our vlogs are amazing and she's so glad that we found the perfect horse, Stormy and Stella. And she hopes we go on a lot of adventures. I'm your biggest fan. Kaylee also sent these adorable little bookmarks. Uh, Stella for Sophie and Storm, Storm for Gabby. So cute. Thanks, Kaylee, for your letter. Thanks, Thanks Kaylee. Kaylee. So these nice pictures of a jump and of a horse. This is from Ella and her animals, and she lives in Kentucky, and she owns a horse. He's a buckskin, and his name is Spirit. She said she got him when she was four to six years old. Um, and there's only one problem with him. He only knows three gates, walk, trock, and buck. <laughs> Every time I cue him to canter and anyway he bucks. I also have two miniature ponies, two miniature donkeys and a bunch of goats. Uh, that's so funny. Anyway, I'm gonna continue to read this letter, Ella, but thank you so much for the pictures and good luck with your pony. I hope he gets pa I hope you are able to find a way to get past that bucking stage and actually get to canter with it. Get get to canter him. A blind bag. Fan mail opening in the truck that's so bouncy like a bus is not the best idea, guys. Who's this from? I don't know. Morgan. Picture. It's from, from New Zealand. Morgan from New Zealand sent us this adorable picture. Wow, she can like jump poles with no hands. And this picture here as well. I love that. That picture kind of reminds me of Storm a little, but maybe Sabrina actually with that big white nose. Yep. And she made Schleich blankets. Wow, Gabby's been making some videos, Schleich videos that will be coming up soon and maybe that will be featured in one. So those beautiful pictures and the Schleich blanket were from Morgan and she says that, she knows a lot of people say this, but I'm one of your number one fans. I'm 11 years old and I live in New Zealand. I own three bunnies, um, two cats, and uh, and my sister owns a rat called Pip. I love horses a lot. My whole room is covered with pictures of them. Unfortunately, I don't own my own horse, but I ride at a local stable. So that's so cool. And she drew 
all these little pictures here. I love when you guys remember horses that we've had in the past, like Storm, Sabrina, and Chance. It must have taken a long time for this letter to get here. Um, Oh, she's such a good artist though. And she included, included all of her social media links, so that's really cool. Thank you so much, Morgan. That is so nice of you. And thank you for sending us mail from New Zealand. Like, that's so cool. <laughs> we want to go there. Yeah, like, we want to go to New Zealand. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who send us stuff. It's always so thoughtful, so, and we are always so grateful. It is um, amazing to get to know you guys on a more personal level, level through your letters and we love reading them and showing them on our videos so anyway that is it for today I hope you liked today's video I have a lot of videos coming up like we are headed shopping right now to buy a hard drive so that I can pour, put all my videos on there and organize them all so that I can just keep editing I did three videos so far today so um, stay tuned for a lot more horsey adventures we have some fun plans coming up soon see you guys later Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.